Hi, this is Alex Palt, and I'm here at the Embedded Show at the Arrow booth with Ashish Parikh. He's the Vice President of Internet of, uh, Internet of Things. I, I won't say IoT, because these stupid you know, acronyms and names and solutions. But it's all about solutions, right? It's all about business value. That's a very good way to put it, because, well, IoT, a lot of moving parts. Yep. It's, it's almost too appropriate a term, so it's overly appropriate, because yep. everything, yeah. where I do you go from there? I think there's, look, you got to start with what is the customer's business problem. All the technology that we have from sensors to connectivity to gateways to cloud is all here to solve one problem, which is how do I make more money? How do I reduce my operational costs so that ultimately my business is successful? How do I improve the customer experience? So that's really what it's about. IoT is a means to an end. It's not. It's not the it's end. Not the end. Yeah. And I agree with you completely there, Ashish, because the way I like to put it is, when it comes to technology, I'm, I'm the person that believes if the tree falls in the forest, it could deafen every animal in the forest. If a person didn't hear it, it didn't make a sound. Same with functionality. If you have functionality that doesn't benefit the consumer, you're just wasting your time and theirs. Yeah, and a lot of people want to force fit technology, right? And really, what we're here to say is, look, let's start not from the traditional, we can help you build a board, but let's start with, let's go through the business process identification, right? We have all the technology building blocks as Aero. We have all the services to help customers. We're here to help them accelerate you know, their solution from concept to reality. So if you're looking for microcontrollers, you know, wireless connectivity, sure, we've got that. We've been doing that for a long time. But there are a lot of new services and capabilities that we've been adding, and that's really the value that we bring. And probably the number one thing I get from customers when I speak to them is, wow, I didn't know Arrow did that. Well, it's, Im it's no longer enough to have a good part. I could have a chip that's superconducting at room temperature, and unless I put it into a solution or explain it in context or have a development kit or a reference design and a spice model, it's lost on the audience because the engineering development that it takes to get from that part to a solution so is a lot for a small company or a mid-sized company. You know, it's funny that you, you talk about this as a solution, because I think of this as a component of a solution. Now, it's not to minimize all the hard work that goes into it, but really, if you think of IoT and the way Aero looks at IoT, we think of it in terms of five key words. Create, connect, analyze, manage, and sustain. Okay, five words. So, we can create the thing, right? Um, if you have the thing, you got to be able to connect it. Yes. There are lots of different protocols to connect it. And if you, you know, Amir talked about NB-IoT. Okay, if you're going to have NB-IoT, how are you going to provision the service? How are you going to bill it? How are you going to activate it? How are you going to deprovision it? What if there is a field repair? And just like Arrow looks at technology in a somewhat agnostic fashion, again, what's the right solution? You know, cellular coverage is not the same all around the world. So are you going to go and interface with every cellular provider? So the connectivity service that we provide really provides that interface for customers to simplify what they want to do. Arrow Connect, again, connectivity from an application level. How do you manage that device, right? How do you provide the firmware updates? How do you get the data? How do you push commands? All the things that you need to do for connected products is important. So you've got the application and the network connectivity pieces. And then you go into analyze. Again, we do this because we're looking for a business insight. You're looking for some information. So you've got the analysis part, right? Where are you going to do that analysis? It's in the cloud, most likely. But it could be on the edge. You know, a lot of capabilities here. You can keep sending lots and lots of information all the way to the cloud for somebody to make a decision someday and in a non-real time say, oh yeah, stop that line. I call it, I call it revenge of the thin client. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Look, we, you know, if you look at the Snapdragon 820, you know, incredible amount of compute. Use it, right? And then uh, the, the, the other couple of pieces that are important is manage and sustain. So when we look at manage, Again, you got to be able to manage the devices, you got to be able to manage the whole environment, you got to have the ability to call, call in for support. As, as OEMs are setting this up, sometimes they don't have all these capabilities and Aero can help address those for customers. And the last and probably the most overlooked part is the sustain. 
So what happens when we talk about the 20, 30, 50 billion of these things that are going to get produced? There's all kinds of stuff in here, right? The batteries, the electronics, you know, the data. How are you going to securely and sustainably dispose of these devices at the end of the life cycle? Could be five years, could be 10 years. And our sustainable technology solutions really helps address that so that we can help customers, again, think of, about the end, right? Start with the, begin with the end in mind, right? The, the old Coveyism, and then go back and kind of say, okay, how should you design it so it can be securely disposed of at the end of the life cycle? Mm -hmm. So that really, if you look at the create, connect, analyze, manage, and sustain, is really how you kind of think of those connected products and solutions. So you have all the technology elements, you have the service elements to help customers build solutions. That's excellent. And one of the things I wanted to point out, Ashish, is um, it's not just Arrow, it's your customers, it's your line card. I mean, an example, what you were talking about with the connectivity, I'm thinking of, at the show, uh, Silicon Labs, they just came out with this, um, I would call it an exchange chip. It uh, lets you talk to um, legacy proprietary wireless systems like a garage door opener, and, and then it converts it to Bluetooth so you can, you can replace legacy systems without having to rewire. Sure. You know, it's funny, again, um, I, I, I find this, this chasm between operational technology and information technology, right? People who are working as OEMs have a lot of great expertise in building the OT side of the world. What they lack is this exper experience and expertise on the IT side of the world. And when we talk about connectivity, again, all these words are so overloaded, right? You talked about the connectivity really on the edge of that garage door to a Bluetooth. When I'm talking connectivity, I'm thinking, you know, LP WAN, so LoRa, Sigfox, yes. it or, you know, all the, all the sub gigahertz protocols, or it could be cellular protocols, or it could be satellite. These a multilingual world. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a highly overloaded world right now. So it's just understanding you know, how those pieces fit together. Very cool. Now, um, you were talking about this board. It, was this a, spe a specific reference that you wanted to make, or you just were talking in general about it? I was just one at a prop. Uh, but it's a very good one, though, because it's a, it's a nice solution. Yeah, it's a great solution. Actually, I wanted to talk about this board. Please. So we're handing out a 1,000 of these at the show. Uh, this is a Sensi Edge board. It has all ST content on it, and it's a production-ready platform. And what we've done is we've enabled a developer experience where you start with this board, um, you connect it to a software gateway running on a mobile phone. So essentially, uh, in the booth, we have people who can download the app, pair the device, and then start developing on it. They can see the data, they can control the device, they can set actions and alerts and rules. And once that's done, we can then lead them to an, uh, an application experience, right? Um, people spend a lot of time with a simple dashboard, but when you talk about the application, again, it's understanding all the details, right? And helping the, the developer who's working on this who may not have the expertise on the cloud side, we want to help bridge that gap to, for them. And so we're doing this in collaboration with Microsoft and ST as partners, right? When you talk about IoT, it's all about ecosystems. I think there's a stat, you need on average about 30 companies involved to deliver an IoT solution. And you know, we've got several in here uh, between you know, ST, Sensi Edge, Aero, Microsoft, and there are other technologies that we're going to be introducing here. And again, it's enabling a developer experience. It's helping them understand how you can get to, to scale very quickly with Aero production-ready platforms. This is a production-ready platform. Aero Connect is a production-ready platform. Microsoft's a production-ready platform. And when you're thinking about it, start with the right platforms, and then you can accelerate your time to solution, rather than, well, I'll start with some toy, and then figure it out later. Work on it as you go. Yeah, exactly. So, now, um, is there a deep drill page for all of this, or they just go to Arrow? Yeah, I think uh, you can go to the arrow.com slash embedded world EW 2018. Okay. Um, you can also go to arrow.com slash IOT, where we have more information. Either of those are great resources to start learning more. And then finally, it's uh, www.arrowconnect.io, where people can go act understand a little bit more about Aero Connect, 
sign up for an account and really start to learn about this experience that helps them connect devices and get to the real application value. Very cool, Ashish. Thank you so much for taking the time at this really busy show to talk to us. I appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.